Ah, uh, good morning. Uh, oh, funny enough, yesterday I posted a photo of the fifth. Oh, it's dark. Um, I posted a photo. Jeez. Ugh. Hello. Hello. I posted a photo yesterday of uh, the fifth anniversary Ultra Boost sitting atop a mound of other shoes. One of the funny comments that people say is like, man, it's gonna suck picking all those shoes up. Can't believe you knocked all those shoes off your shelf just to take this picture. Huh. Here's a little secret for you. I didn't. This is just my life. Shit gets out of control quick. Oh, uh, you're, che you're chewing a ball on a fucking like $900 shoe. Could you not? Guess not. Oh, good boy. Thanks. Go, take it. Good job, take it, thank you. Um, yeah, this is just what happens. So this is this side of the room. Shoes kind of everywhere. I mean, this room just becomes a shamble. This is where we Twitch stream. Everything gets kind of screwed up. I try to straighten it out like once a week if I can. Just so you know, I'm not one to really set up photos too often. We're waiting on Ern. Uh, Ern's bringing our friend Hupper, the, the other Brandy. She's coming over, she's got a train or a bu boat to catch, I don't know. Um, then, uh, yeah, we'll get our day started. You go to the art store for some things. I've started this little project I wanna do. I get these little squares and I just kinda doodle on them. Brought you Santiago. Oh, I me a burrito. And I got my peanuts for gaming later. Eat peanuts while I try to listen to a game. Oh. Uh, yeah, you could just walk around the lighting. I feel like it looks so much neater on the vlog. Well, because, really yeah. <laughs> go out. So cute. Somebody, I was telling them you might get a rig. They were like, I can hear the wax clock in Teddy's dance. He needs a new rig. We're gonna get you blown. We're gonna get you your own blown. You're gonna pipe. get me blown? We're gonna get someone to blow you a pipe. Why do I have a dirty urn liner? That's mine. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hit me with the Teddy. Yeah. This is the last thing I will say about my snowboard boots, okay? Okay. I uh, I took the those inner things out like you did, and I put my feet in them, dude, and my toes go right to the end. Has nothing to do with anything. Removing the arc support from the fucking boot. You don't stand flat in a snowboard boot. You... No, Jesus Christ. <laughs> With the sample hype on it and everything. Yeah, Do let's. Do you recognize them? Yeah, of course. Yeah, they never came out now that way. Why are my shoes special? I remember that they're special. And those never came out. Yeah. On feet. Yeah, they're 3.5. Wait, I'm trying to rotate. Oh, I'll yeah. never know what makes them different from any other shoe. <laughs> look, look at the ones Teddy has on. That's what the 4.0 pattern ended up being. And look at yours. Yeah. What yeah. makes them not come out with a shoe? Like, I don't, what's the big deal? No, there's a big like, deal. Like, they drop it's them and people probably... didn't like them, and then... No. They just found a better technology, yeah. right? They say no. it's so cute. Oh. Jesus Christ. Sample something. We do. I'll wait for both of you to shut the fuck up so I can tell you the answer to your question. <laughs> All right, listen. Um, I'm not going to get yelled at on the blog. I'm not yelling. <laughs> Ernie can. I'm not yelling. All day. I'm just yelling. <coughs> I'm just trying to explain, and my man keeps coming up with answers, and you're off in fucking La La Land. So, uh, the difference is that they were just testing. It's like they were just testing out two different kind of knit patterns, like trying to figure out what what worked and what didn't. And then because those shoes are 3D mapped, probably originally mapped it, and this needed to be looser and flexier. Mm. And that's probably all it is. Just like a test sample, which is why it has the word sample written on it. Yeah. Sorry I ended up with a sample shoe. It's not a bad thing. I'm not even good we enough started for this, the real We shoes. started this conversation with, with the yeah. sample hype. We were giving you props and yeah. somehow you've internalized this oh. and turned it against yourself this like a lot of females that I know. It's the weed. <laughs> working out start, out here. start off with a compliment and then I do. I come out here in my shorts every morning. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I'm do it just in shorts, topless. I look at the city. I do deadlifts, and I just think about power. <laughs> <laughs> I, just think I stare about at that. I stare at that studio suite up there that Carmelo Anthony used to live in. And I no, think about how yeah. I'm gonna buy. Yeah. I'm gonna buy it in cash. I'm just gonna show up. Yeah. With cash. And then your neighbor comes out and is yeah. like, I'm like, what's up, neighbor? <laughs> but you ready to get this money? The other day, the neighbor dumped mop water over the side. I lost it. Why don't you just stay some more days? I have a new baby. The Please. new baby is not going where he's literally had his whole life ahead of it. Yeah. <laughs> literally has just started. <laughs> My man doesn't even know what colors are yet. I think he got time. <laughs> right now he's like. Oh, no. It's a girl. Oh, she's like. <laughs> Same still, is that what you are to this child? An ant? Yes. Yeah. A very Game of Thrones of you. 
You know? <laughs> when the baby is born and you fucking <laughs> voyage. I voyage from the mountains to see the newborn. Okay, I must bless I don't know what that I must means. bless it. <laughs> oh you go up there, you get it three kisses. <laughs> and then it has a blessed life. You leave some fucking daisy petals and you dip. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Your face is so beautiful. I swear to God, I love this dog more than a person you should love. What? I'm just looking for my wallet. I don't know why we're doing the staring thing. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that Hubbard's losing it. Yeah, I am. She's not used to the weed like this every day. We're really blazing it down. What are you doing back there? <laughs> She's naming Fort Collins. Liz. Liz. Liz also has a baby that's coming that she has to visit and another baby that's with her. Brandy's surrounded. She come to bless thy baby yet? No, I've sent word. I've sent pigeon word <laughs> to the hills of Colorado. Okay. Tell you they have more of that 300 pound paper. Oh. <laughs> I was in my head about it. Like, I stopped using yellow crazy paper because this guy I didn't like used it. Constant. No big deal, man. Don't worry about it. This guy? Yes. No. Are we running late on time? <sighs> to the bus station we go. Oh, you're going to go up here and take a left. Yeah. Oh, you got to get. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Who? They're not honking at me. Is that your? Is that the internal conversation you're having with yourself? The left here. Yeah, we we know. We know. Upper. There's your gym. No, that's the Y. Remember when we pulled up to the Y and there's the whole Ninja Turtle team out front? Yeah, the Foot Clan. They did look like a Foot Clan hangout. People were sitting on stairs smoking cigarettes. One was leaned against a pole. The other one was slapping a bat in the palm of its hand. You in the wrong neighborhood? This is our territory, Turtle. Oh my god. She's just in the back laughing. Yeah, she's in the back laughing. Hold on. This guy with the snake. Oh, he's backing up. Oh. Ern, you're the oh, worst. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll get out of there. Fucking I thought he was letting someone off, no, too. So That's a tow-away zone, and he was, like, backing. Ern, I'm no, sure. we're leaving you in the middle of the road. Oh, oh, All right, just get out. <laughs> oh, my God. What are you doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> so, Ern just cut a guy off. Here he is. There's the guy. <laughs> I tell the guy up. sorry if he starts The guy got it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he's pulling up behind us. No. What if he gets out? Oh, please get out. Please get no. out. Please. Please. No. Get. What did I just say to you? Do you have a new battery, actually? Yeah. I have to get this new battery before. I was trying to act quickly before your brain process what's actually going on, but I know that it's not going to matter. I'm going to change the battery. We'll be right back. So. Because you bought peanuts yesterday, and right now, what are you eating? Peanuts. Yeah. So I was just reading him a tweet, because I was saying it's funny. Someone tweeted me and said, did anyone else notice that Teddy switched from wearing EQTs to the fifth anniversary in the middle of the dog park? What was your response? I don't, I don't remember that happening. No? You don't remember me switching shoes at the dog park, huh? At the dog park? Yeah. I don't remember you bringing a second pair of shoes. Yeah, that's weird. Are you fucking with me? No, I'm not. Who was wearing EQTs yesterday? Me. Okay. So, the tweet says, did anyone else notice that Teddy switched from EQTs to 5th Anniversary Ultra Boost? Oh, they thought I was you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I get it now. <laughs> do, you, do you get it now? Yeah. No! How did he get the peanuts? I'm not even mad at him. <laughs> Dude, they were on the counter. <laughs> I can't, it's just amazing. This couldn't have happened any better. <laughs> I'm glad that you're fucking entertained by My peanut troll <laughs> turned into even, I don't even know what it would be called. So, art store today, I uh, picked up a bunch of these gesso, gesso boards to just kind of draw on. I started doing one last night where I basically just started doing these and wanted to just kind of 
have these around to make something on because it helps me work on big projects if I can complete really small projects in between. So um, I'm gonna start doing some pretty big paintings and yeah, I just got these so I can make smaller little creations last night. Yeah, the idea for this is really not to think too much and just kind of make something. So I'm gonna do that right now. Um, all right, so for shoes, we have today to take a look at the United Arrow and Sons CS2. Um, it says PK on the box, but yeah, so this is the box. It's a white and black Adidas OG box. So yeah, that's, that's the box. This is the shoe. I've been wearing it all day. <laughs> but this is what the shoe looks like. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So this collab is... Absolutely sitting. It's still an Adidas full size run pretty much. Let's take a look. So CS2's not everybody's favorite. I oh, I didn't even notice that. Crazy. Um, I really like the shoe. I like CS2's. It's not my absolute favorite model, but I do like it. I like the asymmetrical burrito. It's not a tongue, but the asymmetrical burrito opening. I do enjoy it. And I do like, I like the removal of the bricks. I like the way it fits. I've talked about it many times. And a lot of the CS2s fit a little snug, a little more narrow, feel a little shallow. And I will say for the United Arrows, this is a lot nicer. This is a lot more like a raining chant type knit. It's not insane stretch. You know, it's not like crazy elastic, but it's it's very, very nice. This fits different than um, it's like the original pair like the Ronins. The Ronins just feel a little shallow. Um, for me, still true to size, I wouldn't want a half down personally. There is a leather, a leather, oh God. Trap on, everything. Yeah, there is a, still can't really see it, but a leather insole, but it's fixed. And dual branding, United Arrows, United Arrows and Sun. And then this side is just reversed. I wonder if this is similar to that red pattern. I need to see, hold on. It was called The Harvest. I just wanted to see if this was kind of the same. Yeah, so this one has a different pattern, but still kind of that same directional movement. They've removed the piping that kind of makes up the fake lacing the front, so that's not present on the United Arrows. And compared to the SNS collab, as far as stretchiness, this is this PK is softer. And this is actually stretchier. This knitting is just a little bit more open and it literally just feels kind of more like a raining champ, more blanket-like. That's the difference. You know, city sock, pull tab on the back, black on black. And then on the medial side of the shoe, there is this, there's this half circle graphic with really no explanation. Uh, this part of the shoe is designed by Kasuke Kawamura. No idea if I said that right. Kasuke Kawamura. He's a graphic designer. He's done tons of art for like pretty much all the brands. Like he's done a ton of shit. So but I had to like find it out. Like that's the one thing about Adidas that is just pretty aggravating is that there's really, I mean, these are selling points of the shoe. Like if you're one of these, if you're a fan of the artist, then you probably would cop the shoe. There's no explanation as to why they chose this graphic. There's sort of this eyeball peeking glitch pattern. And, and Kasuke is known for some kind of weird art, but not, not weird, but just this style, very abstract. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know why they didn't go into any kind of explanation. Weird. Um, and then this is just kind of a graphic. It's like just a vinyl graphic. The brick on the inside, the only present brick, has these white stripes glitching through as well. So it's very glitchy. I think the whole idea of it is static glitch. Same thing with the Adidas Trefoil. It's a little glitchy. It also, the pants that I got was the same thing. The graphic just almost looks like not clean and blurry. Kind of almost looks like it's like a bad, a bad print job, but it's on purpose. But yeah, I mean, cool concept. Like I just think they could have maybe packaged it a little better, at least explained it a little better and packaged it a little better. I think that goes a long way. Presentation, um, it's not everything but it, it's definitely a lot. So, uh, but yeah, the collab is sitting. It's a great shoe if you like CS2s. Absolutely not a must cop. Um, and then com compared to the first United Arrows collab, which is this one here, the City Sock 1, which has all of the characters printed upon it. Um, this one is just a completely different, they updated the model, different shoe altogether. I guess this is sort of ninja-like. It's the only thing I can kind of come up with is that it's a, an ode to the first collab, but I really don't have any idea. I'm just kind of guessing, but. Um, but yeah, if you want, you can cop right now. Hey, I'm still working out the 
details for the LA pop-up, I will let you know. 747 event in LA should be there both days. Still waiting on my 100% confirmation, but I'm fairly certain it's all good. Yeah, I'm gonna try and keep my life straight. And Omar got sick earlier, I think, from eating all the peanuts. So I have to watch him. And he also got into his food, so to make sure Omar's good. Hurrah!